In this video, I'll be showing you how to get every single ingredient on this Wacky Wizards table and the legacy ingredients. And the first one we'll be starting off with is the Charmeleon. So you're going to need to head over to this tree and you should see the Charmeleon just sitting on it right over here. Simply grab the Charmeleon, teleport back to your cauldron and then just drop it right on in. For each ingredient, you'll need to teleport back to your cauldron and just drop it in and then you should have it on your table. The next ingredient will be the bird ingredient. Just head over to this large tree right over here and then all you need to do is just complete the parkour. Boom, once you've completed the parkour, go ahead and grab the bird and you now have the bird ingredient. The next ingredient is going to be the dynamite ingredient. Go ahead and walk over to this bridge. Simply click the dynamite and you now have the dynamite ingredient. The next ingredient will be the spider ingredient. Go ahead and place three fairies into your cauldron and we're going to make a shriek potion. Once you've made a tiny potion, go ahead and go all the way to the spider cave. Once you're in the spider cave, head around to the corner and drink your tiny potion in order to fit through the hole. Now just grab the spider and you should have the spider ingredient. For the chili ingredient, you'll need to head to the desert. Go ahead and walk between these two cactuses and you should see a little hole in the ground. Just jump right on in. And now we'll need to complete the parkour right here. There is ways to fly over it, but the parkour isn't too hard so I'm just going to go ahead and complete it normally. You should now have the chili ingredient, don't forget to teleport back to your cauldron and drop it on in. For the fish ingredient, go ahead and head to this water right over here and jump on in and swim to the left side of the pond. You should see a hole, just swim right on in and grab that fish. The next ingredient will be the beans ingredient. So the first thing you'll need to do is grab one dynamite, place it into your cauldron and make an explosive potion. Once you have the explosive potion, go ahead and head to this wall right over here. Go ahead and drink the potion and it should kill you but it should break the wall. Once you respawn, the next thing you'll need to make is a giant's potion. So just place one giant's ear into the cauldron and make the giant's potion. Then head all the way back to the area we just killed ourselves at. Once here, go ahead, pour the giant potion into the giant spoon and then teleport back to your cauldron and we'll need to make a small potion or a tiny potion. Just place one fairy into your cauldron and then once again, head back to the place we were just at. Keep in mind, this is a no fly zone, so you cannot cheat. You have to do the parkour. So go ahead, use your item. Grab the can of beans, be sure to teleport back to your cauldron and place it right on in. The next ingredient will be the coconut ingredient. To get the coconut ingredient, you'll need to participate in the volcano event and beat it. So the volcano event happens every two hours. You should see a sign over here letting you know when the next volcano event is happening. It happens every other hour on the dot. So one o'clock, then it'd be three o'clock, 5 o'clock and etc. Alright, the event is now starting so let's go beat it! Now once you touch the cannon and it kills you, go ahead and head to the center and get on one of these cannons to help shoot down the drones.
And now we need to go ahead and load the cannons with potions. So go ahead, make some potions, and place them into the cannons. This is exactly like the Mr. Rich event, except with a different boss. I'm going to go ahead and take a speed potion so it's easier to uh, place potions into the cannon and run away from the obstacles. I really love this potion since it does 30 damage and it's just really great. Alright, once you've defeated Lord KSI, he will drop the coconut ingredient and you should now have the new coconut ingredient. For the Robux ingredient, you'll need to defeat Mr. Rich, which spawns every two hours similar to the volcano event. One hour the volcano event will happen, then the next Mr. Rich will happen. So Mr. Rich spawns in 15 seconds for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video until it starts. <laughs> Once Mr. Rich spawns, I'd recommend using a speed potion so you can dodge his items and you can put the potions into the cannon faster. After defeating Mr. Rich, he should drop a Cyclops Eye. Go ahead, take that Cyclops Eye and take it all the way to Oz the Wizard. Once you take it to Oz the Wizard, he will give you gems if you already have the Robux ingredient, which I have. But if you don't, you can, he will give you the Robux ingredient. And keep in mind, he'll only give you gems once a day for giving him the Cyclops Eye. For the Tumbleweed ingredient, you'll need to go on and head over to the desert. There should be a train over here. It spawns really often. And just go ahead, press E to hop on. And if the train's not here, just wait a few minutes and it will be here. Once you've hopped on, all you need to do is make it to the front of the train. And once you make it to the front of the train, you will get the tumbleweed ingredient. There is bullets being shot at you, but they are pretty easy to dodge, so just be on the lookout for that. Once you get to the vault, place the dynamite. Once it explodes, you should have the new tumbleweed ingredient right up here. Simply teleport back to your cauldron, and boom. Alrighty guys, for the next ingredient, you will need to give the golem back his missing parts and I've already given him back his arm and two legs but I'm gonna go ahead and play a video of my alt account doing it to showcase the locations of those since I already did it on my main. Alright, once you've given the golem all his parts, we now need to go give him a brain. So go ahead, grab the brain ingredient, and go ahead and take it over to him. Now the golem will give you a gem, and go ahead and take it to the castle. Go ahead, walk right into the castle. Be sure to be holding out the gym or you will not be able to enter the castle door. And now just complete the parkour.
All right, go ahead, drop the gem, and click the crystal, and you should now have the, the crystal ingredient. For the shark tooth ingredient, go ahead and head back over to the castle. Go ahead, grab some sword crates. Now we'll need to place the sword crates down here. So as you can see, we need to get one, two, three. Three more sword crates, and then we'll need to get two turrets for the top. Actually, it looks like four turrets. So four sword crates and four turrets in total. After placing the last turret down, go ahead and head back across the clouds and talk to the Great Wizard of Oz. He should he should give you the new shark tooth ingredient, and don't forget you will need to place it into your cauldron. The monkey paw ingredient is going to be towards the castle. This one's actually really easy. Just jump over the clouds. Go ahead, go to the far right tree, look behind the tree, and you'll notice the monkey paw. Just go ahead, grab it, teleport to your cauldron, and drop it right on in. For the gun ingredient, you'll need to be level 9. So you can check your level by looking up here. I'm level 36. And once you're level 9, you should be able to get the gun ingredient. That's all you need to do. Hit level 9 and it should appear right on your desk. For the paintbrush ingredient, you'll need to make a giant potion. So go ahead, take one giant's ear, place it in your cauldron, make that potion, and then head to where I go. So you will need a flight potion for this. Or you don't need a flight potion, but it will make it much easier, so I'd highly recommend it. Go ahead, fly across to the barn over here. And once we get here... Once you talk to him and plant and plant the flower and water the flower, go ahead and give the giant's potion to Oz's favorite flower. Now you'll need to teleport back to your cauldron and make another giant's potion. Go ahead and you can either do the parkour to get up here or you can go ahead and cheat and fly up here, which is exactly what I'm going to do because I do not feel like, well... I don't feel like doing parkour. So once you're up here, simply drink your giant's potion. And then stand on the scale. We need to balance the scale. And if you're heavy enough, it should open. Grab that paintbrush and you now have the paintbrush ingredient. For the ice cream ingredient, go ahead, grab a bird and then head over to the ice cream machine. Go ahead, talk to the guy. And I already spoke to him previously. He'll give you some dialogue, select ice cream, and then he'll take your bird and go and he should give you an ice cream. Once he gives you some ice cream, go ahead and give it to Pete right up here. We know Pete likes his ice cream. Once you've given it to Pete, go back to your cauldron and go ahead and grab a pool noodle. Go ahead, talk to the ice cream guy one more time. He's going to give you a popsicle and now we have to deliver it to Glinda. So she is the witch and she should be in the desert cave. Talk to Glinda, take the popsicle teleport back to your cauldron and grab a paintbrush go ahead you know the drill talk to the ice cream guy 
He's gonna give you a snow cone, and now we have to give it to Oz. So Oz is all the way in this cave near the beehive. Deliver the, the snow cone to Oz. And now we're gonna go ahead and talk to the ice cream guy one final time. He should give you an ice cream for all your hard work. And then boom, you now have the ice cream ingredient. For the sunglasses ingredient, go ahead and head over to the pool party area. Once you get over here, you'll notice there's three NPCs. We're gonna need to make smoothies for each of them, so just click on them or talk to them and they'll let you know exactly how to make the smoothie. So Glinda wants an apple banana, so I can take a banana from this tree over here place it into the blender and then I can place an apple into the blender as well. Boom. Now I need to deliver the smoothie to Glinda. Now I'll need to do the exact same for Oz and then the Goblin King. So he wants a banana and orange. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a banana and then grab an orange. So he wants a smoothie with orange and me. So that's a little bit more tough. So I will go ahead, place an orange into the vending machine. And then since he wants you, you will need to stand inside the blender as the second ingredient. Then just walk over and hand him the potion. Or not the potion, sorry. The, the smoothie. And then he should give you the new sunglasses ingredient. For the flamey ingredient, go ahead and head to this golden area behind the waterfall. Now we just need to answer a few questions and they're all pretty easy. If you don't know the answer, just follow where I go. So how old is Oz? Correct answer, 572 years old. Linda's favorite potion is the broom potion. A meteor destroyed the old map. And there are five goblins in total. And then Wacky Wizards is updated once a week, Wacky Wednesdays. Boom, just like that, we now have the flamey ingredient. For the star shard ingredient, you're going to need to take one chili and one dynamite and place it into your cauldron. Go ahead, make a potion, and then take it all the way to Elon Musk rocket. So he's right over here, and we will need to repeat this process maybe four or five times. I'm not sure on the exact number. Just go ahead, place it into the rocket fuel in the back. But, bef and but before you can do that, you will need to talk to Elon Musk. Look at that beautiful face. So once you talk to him, you can go ahead, place it into the tank, then just teleport back to your cauldron and do that repeatedly until the rocket takes off. All right, we now have enough for the rocket to, to take off. So go ahead, talk to Mr. Elon Musk, or just head inside the rocket. Once the rocket takes off, we are gonna be teleported to Mars, and we will need to do some parkour and able to get the new star shard ingredient. Well, I don't know if it's new anymore, but you know, who knows? I don't know when you're watching this video. Complete the parkour, there is aliens shooting at you, so try your best not to get hit. It won't kill you in one shot, but he does do a good amount of damage to you. Go ahead, complete this parkour. I would say the best way to not get shot is just don't go in a straight line and don't try to stay still for too long. Grab the star shard and just like that, you now have the star shard ingredient. 
for the frog ingredient, go ahead and make a shrink ray potion. So one fairy and one charmeleon. Go ahead and drink it while standing over your cauldron. And be sure to drain your cauldron so you get made into an ingredient. So you should see your username. Go ahead, take that potion, and now we're going to head to the goblin village. If you're wondering, I am using my sister's account because I already got this on my account and it's really hard to, well, it's impossible to get it again on your account. So I'm having to use her account right here. Talk to the goblin leader and you will need to make each goblin a potion. So the goblin leader wants some spicy stew. The goblin kid wants you. So go ahead, give the you potion to him. Alright, now go ahead and talk to the Goblin Kid. He wants noodle stew, so go ahead, place a pool noodle in. Get it, and then give it to the Goblin Kid. The Goblin Leader wants spicy, so that's a chili. This guy, the Vegan Goblin, wants um, beans, so go ahead, give him the can of beans. And then the last goblin wants a giant's ear because he is a midget and needs to grow. So we're going to give him a giant's ear and perfect. Once we've done all of that, go ahead, talk to the goblin leader again, and you'll now be given the frog ingredient or the pharaoh ingredient. Go ahead and grab the frog ingredient. And then we're going to head over to the pyramids or the pyramid. Go on ahead, just walk right inside. You will need to complete the parkour. I personally don't like to use speed potions while doing this because I cannot speed through parkour. <laughs> Once you get over here, go ahead, click the frog, and now we'll need to go back and get a bird, a brain, fish, and spider. So come back with these ingredients and you will need to do this four more times. All right, I am placing the last ingredient, a spider, and I now have the Egyptian head. For the honey ingredient, go ahead and head to this large tree with the beehives. The first thing we'll need to do is grab the sleepy bee from this beehive right here. Teleport to our cauldron and drop it right on in. Once you've done this, go ahead and we're going to need to collect flowers from around the map to place into the beehive. So our first flower is a field flower as a daisy. So just touch it and then head right on into the bees only hole. And then Wherever the flower is, you'll just need to head inside here. So this one is where I would go for field daisy and then it will fill in. Mine are already filled in because I have already completed it, but I will still be showing you all the locations. So the next location is up here in the volcano. This is the volcano flower. There is another flower in the desert. Go ahead, you can just touch this one. And then there's another flower at Oz's location. So we're gonna fly all the way to Oz. And before that, there's also one in the water. I think this is a water lily. And then the final flower should be in Oz's hideout. Go ahead, look up here. This should be the last flower. Once you've done each of those flowers, just fly back into the bees only hole and place them in their desired spots. After each flower, you must come inside here, place it inside its spot, fly back out and do the same thing. You can only collect one flower at a time. After you finished, you should now have the honey ingredient.
Alrighty guys, for the witch's brew, the first thing you'll want to do is take one chili, place it into the cauldron, and then head over to the witch. And she is located in this cave over here. If the train spawn, you will have to wait. It is pretty annoying. Oh, I got over it. <laughs> okay, so go ahead, talk to the witch. So, and once you give her this potion, now we need to give her a speed potion. So go ahead, take one giraffe hoof, do the same thing, and we're going to head to the witch once again. So now we're going to help the rich collect special ingredients from across the map. So the first ingredient will be a blue frog. So as you can see, it hangs out near the water. So I would recommend making a fly potion to help get these ingredients. But if you don't want to, it's okay. We still should be able to get every ingredient. So the first one's a blue frog. We know it hangs out near the water. And if we come over here, we'll find it chilling on this rock. Just gonna go ahead and take it back to the witch. The next ingredient is a cave bat. So the cave bat's gonna be inside a cave. So teleport back to your cauldron and head over to the spider cave. I believe the cave bat should be right up here. Go ahead, teleport back to your cauldron, and then we'll walk the rest of the way to the witch. Is it cactus cat? Perfect. It's right outside the desert since it is a cactus cat, so it makes sense. It's next to a cactus. And now we're going to go and give her the ingredient. And perfect and now she's given us the witch's brew now for the disco ball ingredient go ahead take the charmeleon and we're gonna head up here to the disco area you can make a fly potion or you can swim up the waterfall and walk across every option is okay so the first thing is we will need to repair the dance floor with the charmeleon I'm gonna go ahead and do that and here's a list of all the ingredients you'll need. Or not ingredients, but things you'll need to repair. So to fill the drinks fridge, we're going to need a witch's brew. So go ahead, grab your witch's brew, and take it back up to the dance floor. Each time, we will need to teleport back to our cauldron, and then fly all the way back over here. It sucks, I know. Now we'll need a dynamite. I believe the dynamite goes on the speakers. Yep. And one last ingredient we will need is the chili. So go ahead, grab that chili. And I believe the chili will be used to repair the smoke machine. I believe so. So go ahead, repair the smoke machine. And now you should get your disco ball ingredient right up here just click this bad boy and you now have the disco ball ingredient alrighty guys for the boxing glove ingredient I highly recommend you make a speed potion and a fly potion as I have right now the first thing you'll need to make here is go ahead grab the chili place it in the cauldron and now we're gonna head to the corner of the map right near the goblin village Go ahead, burn down this bush, and then teleport back to your cauldron. Now go ahead and make a giant's potion with one giant's ear. And now take that back to the area we were just at. So once over here, if you have a fly potion, you can easily fly across the parkour. And then you will need to open this door but to do that, you will need to be a giant. So that's when you would drink your giant's potion. So I would drink it right now. And then I would grab the key. 
which I can't grab because I'm not a giant. Which, and once you grab the key, use it to unlock this door. But I have already done all this, so I can't do it again. So after opening the door, go ahead and teleport back to your cauldron, and you'll need to make a U potion. So that's one Charmeleon, one Fairy. Stand above your cauldron. Be sure to drain your cauldron. And that, that now just drink the potion while being right above your cauldron. You should see your username in the ingredients list. Go ahead and head back to the area we were just at. This should be the final step you need to get the boxing glove ingredient. Simply fly across the parkour again or complete it. You will need to talk to this guy right here, but I have already done it, so I cannot do it again. He will take your U potion, and then this bridge will appear. You can just walk across the bridge, talk to this guy right here. He will give you the boxing glove ingredient and let you pick if you like to be on the witch's or wizard side. For the final ingredient, you'll get a message at the beginning of every hour asking you if you would like to participate in the giant event. Go ahead and click yes. Once the giant event begins, go ahead and walk over to the sky castle. I'm not sure if the event is broken because it's not telling you to walk over there, but just go ahead and do it and then climb up the ladder. And now we're gonna go ahead and wait for the gingerbread man to spawn. This can take a while, but just be patient. Once the gingerbread man spawns, you can go ahead and sit and sit on the turrets and just go ahead and shoot him until he dies. He used to have an HP bar, but it is currently broken. But just go ahead and shoot him and eventually he will die and you'll get the new ingredient. Once he's been defeated, you should get the new ingredient, but he is currently broken in most new servers. So it may not work for you right now, but once it's fixed, it will definitely work. For the legacy ingredients in the purple table, these ingredients are currently unavailable to get and the only way to purchase them is by paying 800 gems and talking to the NPC in the middle. You can only talk to him once per 8 hours and it is pretty annoying grinding for these. Unfortunately, there is no other way to get these items.